What do crazy cat ladies do when they're obsessing about something? Today we're doing a study on the eating habits of the tribble. As most of you know, I've had a tribble now for about a year and a half, and it's taken me a good deal of time to discover exactly what I've got here. She doesn't keep herself very clean when she eats, so we are taking a closer look. I've tried a lot of tricks. We've put little bibs on her. We've tried powder just to try and keep things soaked up a little bit. And we've tried a lot of different feeding plates and trays and even considered feeding her right off of the placemats. All to no avail. What follows is a close up, intimate, study of what it looks like when the Tribble feeds. Here she is. This is about as close as we can get to her. and We were watching her very closely. She's just about like any other kitty. At first, uh, last year, I thought there might be some issues with her mouth because uh, I've never actually seen a cat get this dirty when she ate. But in looking at her, she's just fine. She's a beautiful little kitty. Of course, we love her to death, and she's uh, absolutely adorable. But uh, she doesn't use her tongue very well, as you can tell. Got her close up here on different shapes of plates. The first one was a square plate, which I, here it is again, the square plate. I thought was pretty cool, but I think that the round plate's going to be a little bit better for her. It's a little more shallow. And it's not quite as far across, so she doesn't have to reach across. As you can see, if we could pile up the food, obsess, 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 here we go. <laughs> if we pile up the food, she can kind of grip it from the top. Also, if we don't get a whole lot of moisture in the basin of the dish, then her whiskers and her chin and all of that stuff doesn't get down in there. In order for her to eat, she kind of seems to have to jam her face right down into the food. And then, of course, she's not very efficient about cleaning herself up. She's a great little eater, as you can tell. She's always enthusiastic. First kitty at the plates. Here we go. Now, this is our new plan. We've got the bowls. We've upended them. The idea is to raise the feeding surface up so that her face isn't down in the food. And we've got paper plates. This is Velcro that is holding the plates onto the bowls. The bowls do not need washing normally, so all we have to do is pick the plates up and discard them. Each kitty gets to eat off their separate little plate. This is a morning feeding. We don't feed very much in the morning. We only feed about a, a cup to a cup and a half, and that seems to satisfy them. And then they eat quite a bit later in the afternoon. As you can tell, nobody seems to be having a problem with eating off of this new little plan. And as I mentioned before, we've got the square plates here, but I think I'm going to go back to the round ones. I've been experimenting with this, that, and the other thing. These plates are a good height for the triple. This is Nomad eating here, and you can see how much more efficient he is. We Also looking at the other kitties, Gypsy Rose is like a little vacuum. She's also a fairly neat eater, too. They've got a lot more tongue action than the Tribble does when it comes to scooping up that meat. This is Simicon, very efficient eater, little Simicon. Loves his food, and he's pretty clean, too. Here they all are. In the morning, I usually only have maybe six kitties that come down to eat, maybe eight, and they kind of come in and out. This is Tiny Bear. Oh, here's Tiny Bear again. Tiny Bear is, is Little Miss Efficiency. Even as a kitten, she was a very clean eater. She's just dainty, 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 dainty. And she eats well. Kalahari is another little vacuum. This is Kalahari here. You can see he just slurps that stuff up empties a plate in no time. We've got Nugget in the foreground, also a good eater. We're looking at the triple again, watching her pick up this meat. 
she comes back again and again and again for food. I think she eats a little bit at a time. And this is how I pick up the plates. Just pick them up. One half of the Velcro stays on the bowls, and then I do have to keep the bottoms of the paper plates loaded with the other half. So it's easy to set down when it comes to feeding time. Another experiment, and we'll see how it goes.